Okay, gang. This one's going to probably hurt your brain a bit if you've never worked with a NURB modeler. Uh, we're going to talk about sweeps and lofts. Okay. So, kind of hard to explain. But uh, sweeps and lofts are like the bread and butter of most uh, NURB mo modelers, and you can make some really interesting shapes. So let's uh, do a quick explanation of what each one is. So a sweep is basically a, uh, a continuous profile of, say, like this triangle here. It'll create a continuous profile along a spline or curve. So for example, if I do shift P and then select a spline, it makes a continuous triangle. Okay. Let's escape that. Uh, nice thing about it is it can do, uh, it can go along a curved spline. So do shift P again and select the curve. And you can see it follows it. Uh, you can change the attributes from parallel or normal. You can see the difference. Not, cool thing about splines is you can uh, do twists. So let me just uh, key in 360. And you can see you can make these nice little spiral shapes. Kind of cool. Now, now loft is a... Uh, along the same line, but doesn't necessarily require the splines to work, okay? So say like I want to go, I could do just this triangle to triangle, and then L for loft, okay? Does the same thing, right? But if I do, and always select them in order, I could do this, just like this, the square, the circle, and back to a triangle, and hit loft, and you can see it uh, conforms to the contours of each one. So it's pretty cool. And then you can have guides to help uh, the flow into each one. This one's a little complicated. That's why I didn't put a guide or anything in there. So uh, loft, you can also do face to face. So face to face, loft. Right click, creates a new uh, solid, and then you can merge all these guys together. Q, Q, and they're all merged together. So now you have a real nice transition between two differently shaped objects. So with uh, Loft, you could do a lot of neat things. You could build shapes more complex shapes. So I've got a kind of a relatively simple shape going on up here. I didn't want to make it too complicated because I'm really not that good with lofts. So we are going to build this shape on top of the lid over here. So I basically started off with a rectangle and then cut the bottom off of it and then beveled it and then copied it to all the different spots up here. And then what I did is I took it and I rotate, I made it a copy, rotated it down, and then I created these guides. And you notice how this particular guide here, it kind of bevels further in. So it's going to make an interesting transition that you might not be able to do with uh, booleans and fillets. You might not be able to accomplish that without doing, without doing it this way. So it's just a matter of building up all your profiles here. So say like over here, I've got this transition to here, but I don't have anything in between to guide it. So what I would do is do shift A, connect these two points. Notice how the color is kind of a turquoise. That means that they are intersecting those that particular those particular curves and that's what you want that's the only way it works so shift a again i'm going to do another one over here now that's just going to be kind of a straight transition so let's select both of them and we're going to do alt one and then it creates a extra point and select each point g and we're going to pull them out and it's got a curve 
So it's a nice little curve. Let's go ahead and bring it up. All right, I think I'm okay with that. So let me just do a quick mirror and weld. Or just mirror. Keep on thinking of ZBrush, sorry. And there we go. And you can see that they, they're both turquoise, so they're intersecting the line just fine. All right, so let's start building our shape. And you kind of have to think about it, because there's some parts of this that you're going to have to just patch to make work. So let's start with the easy transitions here. So I'm going to do this one to this one, and then loft. Okay, and then select one guide, hold down shift, select that, select that. So now if at any time that sheet just disappears, there's something wrong, you're either not uh, intersecting the curve or it doesn't like how you, uh, the, the curve is too wild for it to do. I, it's about all I could say to, for it to make sense. Right click to execute. Maybe, there it goes. And now we have a new sheet there. Great. So let's build a sheet over here. And go ahead and loft. These are relatively simple. So let's like each one of these. This way it maintains the shape that we want. So let's see. Let's go ahead and select that. It's like that loft and you see how it's kind of a linear transition you can see it a lot more clearly with this one well now we select our guide select one side select the other side and boom now we got our nice transition that we wanted right click there we go let's build this guy up loft Okay, build our ends real quick. Whoa, hold on. I went the wrong way with these. Hold on, let me redo these. G out. I think I accidentally grabbed that handle. I grabbed the wrong handle. That's what it was. Okay. That's fine. It happens. Make sure they're, yep, yeah, they're good this time. So I got to delete that one, delete that one. X. Got to love tutorials. Something wrong always happens. That's fine. I don't hide my mistakes because I make them quite often. Okay, cool. All right, now we can build our end here. Look at that. Nice. I know I'm going kind of fast, but I don't want this to be too lengthy for you guys because it can get boring. It can really get boring. So now with this one, we have we're going to build that uh, fillet there first, and then build the fillet on the back end, and then fuse everybody together, and then patch in here. That's the only way you can kind of make this part work. So what I have to do is with this curve. Yeah, take all these curves here and then do Alt J. And as you can see, boom, okay, we created a bunch of new curves now. That's good. That's what we want. But I got to merge a couple back together, which is fine. That's why this can. 
this type of modeling, surface modeling, can be a little tedious. But as you can see, I'm kind of blazing through it. Now if I hit J, now it's made, there we go. Now it's one solid, there we go. That's what we want. Okay. We'll do loft, add your guide, add your other guide. There you go. You got this very nice smooth transition. You can always put another one in the middle if you wanted, if you wanted to get more defined, but I'm happy with that. Okay. And same thing over here, loft. Get your guides going. And see all these sheets are using the same curves and I haven't manipulated the curves any except joining and separating them, but that's It'll work just fine. So I'm going to do that to that loft. Select the guides. Perfect. Okay. So now I've got that piece there, 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 there. Get the caps. Okay. Now I should be able to. Where are they all at? Okay, here's all the sheets. Join. Well, something is awry. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. You can usually find the culprit. If you uh, slow down and just do like one or two at the same time. Hmm. Is it this guy? No, nope, he's fine. Got everybody selected. Okay, cool. Let's uh, isolate him. All right, perfect. Now, all we got to do is patch this part right here. We could do find boundary edges or let's see. That works. Hold down alt and you can find that ring right there. And let's go ahead and do a patch, patch hole. Perfect. Find boundary edges again. And Go ahead and do a patch. There we go. There we go. Okay, looks like we built up a surface just fine. You may want to actually uh, put a line in between there if you needed to, just to kind of help with the flow but otherwise it works. So let's go ahead and get out of that. I'm gonna hide the curves. There we go. Now I can lower them down. Gee. And let's go ahead and do Q, oops. Got them fused together, and if you want to, you can do a bit of a bevel if you needed to. There you go. Got them all welded together. Nice and neat. And that is basically loft and sweep in a nutshell. I will leave a link in the description of... Uh, another plasticity artist that does absolutely amazing things with lofts and sweeps uh, like design an automo uh, full-size car and everything and it's just it, it'll just blow your mind if you watch them so but that's it loft and sweep i hope i made it a little easier to understand it definitely practice with it don't be afraid of it okay just keep on plugging away and eventually it'll work for you okay We'll see you in the next video.